Hi, what's good guys? So I'm gonna be showing you guys how I'm gonna be doing a VTEC conversion with locked VTEC on a D16 Y7 using all OEM parts. So what I got here is you got a Y8 head. I have pulled the cam out. See right there. And I got all the rock arms laid out here and I'm showing you how to lock VTEC on a budget. So what you got here is you got your rocker arm here and it has this pin that sits in there all the way flush and as the oil pressure pushes in this hole down in there pushes this pin out which engages the next rocker arm and allows them to work in unison and follow the middle lobe on the middle rocker arm that's what you do you teach yourself a nut so I know you can buy speed factory pin and whatnot but I'm on a budget these nuts right here cost me about two dollars I got a whole pack of them. that's left over I've already used what I needed so what you do is you take this nut and drop it down in the hole and there you go take your pin put it back in There, now it's down there all the way, but as you can see, it sticks up a little under halfway. And now when you go to sit the next rocker arm on, sorry, it sticks up, and then when you put on the, the third rocker, or sorry, these, this is the center lobe, <clears throat> and this got a spring in there. What it does is when you set that on, it compresses the spring and holds everything tight. It's actually the return spring from the way it works for factory. Alright, now that you know that, in order to, you can put a YA cam into a non VTEC head, no problem, it'll fit right in. The only thing you have to do is you do have to use your cam caps out of your Y7, do not use Y8 or any other cam cap that did not come with your head because they're all line honed and need to match perfectly so there's no wear. But uh, this is what I have so far. Tomorrow I'm going to be starting the assembly in the car and I'll give you an update. Thanks for watching.